Uh, Salaki, I was just thinking too, because when I said how um, Oppenheimer said, he, he quoted that um, passage out of the uh, Bahavita Gita, Bahavita Gita, about the destroyer of worlds. It says in Ezekiel 28, uh, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of God, because only the, the, the Most High is the destroyer and creator of worlds, you know what I mean? You know, he's going to destroy Esau's world, you know? You know? Um, not the, literally the actual whole planet. You know, the whole planet is not going to be destroyed. You know, it tells you in the scripture that the Most High Spirit is going to be inside those missiles when they come over here. That's why it tells you in scripture that he's a consuming fire in the book of Hebrews. So at the end of the day, why do you not think? I've seen a lot of shit in my little short 40 years here. You know what I mean? Just imagine people twice my age, what they've seen. I've seen, you know, one of the brothers, his family member was in a car accident. It was three other people in the car. All everybody died except for this person. They walked away on some unbreakable type shit. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, what makes you think that the Most High can send those missiles over here and just destroy? Because people think, oh, the Most High is gonna control, control that fire. You get what I'm saying? Just, man, you know, what I'm saying like at the end of the day, like my 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 um sister's husband is a fireman. You know. At the end of the day, <laughs> you know, he got some some strange accounts, put it like that. But um, Salakia, not to digress, uh, it says, neither Japan nor Germany will come close to solving the theoretical and technical problems associated with developing the atom bomb. However, the only nation that might possibly possess the new weapon by war's end, and hence the only nation that might have to decide what to do with it, was the United States. Ultimately, the decision would fall on the soldiers of the on the soldiers' shoulders, Salaki, on the shoulders of President Truman. Within a month of the new president's taking office, Nazi Germany surrendered. All attention now shifted to the war in the Pacific, and that's how they got those scientists to. Be, but it was ultimately the Lord's will, you know what I mean? That's how you got the um the scientists to actually get over here. Then you got the Operation Paperclip, and you got Russia. That's why Russia had so many uh, um, nuclear ICBMs, because they took certain Nazi scientists, and America took certain Nazi scientists. And that's why I came out with that Isaiah um, 54. I have created this the Smith that blew up the code. Because at the end of the day, it's ultimately the most high gave him the knowledge to do this. Um, Since the outcome of that war had long ago been decided, Imperial Japan had lost, but it continued to fight anyway. With the American scientists predicting that an atomic bomb would be ready for testing by midsummer, the situation was rapidly coming to a head. Some Manhattan Project scientists had already expressed grave reservations about their work. They shuddered at the thought of annihilating thousands of civilians with a Ukrainian slaki with a uranium bomb. They also worried that using a bomb will usher in a new, unspeakable, horrifying era of warfare. And that's the spirit, because um, I'm about to get, you know, because you got multiple scriptures that talk about, you know, um, um, you know, um, basically nuclear war. I got one right now. This is Isaiah chapter 9, verse, um, so like it. Bear with me for a second. Salakia, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. Because in the ancient day, you know, it was loud on the battlefield, you know. You know, um, say for instance, when a man got struck with a sword, and that's the difference, like, that's why people probably were way tougher back then. Because, you know, nowadays, people use a gun, it's not as up close and personal, you know what I mean? You know, up close and personal, you hear men screaming. They bleeding out slowly. You know what I mean? You know I mean, if you cut a person, depending on where you cut them at, you know what I mean? Uh, like, for instance, have you ever just had a little cut and a bleed profusely? <laughs> what about a, a, a huge gash with a sword? You know how much blood that's going to be? It says, for every battle of the warriors with confused noise. So it's allowed, it was loud in them ancient battles. And garments rolled in blood. 
but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So this, I mean, like the scripture, I mean, this um, passage out of the book, it literally said um, they was worried that using the bomb will usher in a new and unspeakable horrifying era in warfare, which, you know, these nuclear missiles is a new horrifying means of warfare, you know, um, says, um, I'm going to read this real quick. Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his tears like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Verse 16. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So at the end of the day, that sword is going to be the missiles. You know, because, um, you know, when this place is getting destroyed, the Lord is going to be coming and he's going to be bringing, uh, what does it say? I think in the New Testament, I think it's in the book of Luke. He say, uh, Salaki, bear with me because I'm about to get it. Um, this is Luke 12. Because basically, like I said, at the time when these missiles are going to be hitting here, the Lord is going to be coming with fire, but he's coming also to, you know, say the elect. And the elect going to be beamed up in those ships, in those chairs. You know, so, you know, Cause that's your only hope, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you can't hope and you gonna survive in a bunker. You can't hope you gonna, uh, you know, you gonna band together. You can't hope in the gold and silver. It tells you in the scriptures that uh, in the day of wrath, gold and silver profit you nothing. Barely, roughly paraphrasing. So it, uh, this is Luke twelve and forty nine, proving my point of the Lord coming with fire. It says, "I come to send fire on the earth." And what will I if it already be kindled? When you go into that word kindled, Salaki. You go to the word Kindle, it's uh, G381, on up to, and up to. And it basically means to light. So, basically, while it's fire already gonna be here, he gonna, uh, he gonna be bringing fire as well. Uh, it's another scripture about the nukes and Zechariah but it's one of Peter this kid has been just making noise all day this is 2nd Peter's chapter 3 verse 10 but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night and the day of the Lord is referred to multiple times in the scriptures. So that's what is so funny to show you how people don't really read the Bible. You know, he saw, because I was listening to some of the Apostle Tahar say, he was like, literally, you know, Christianity is Esau's version of, uh, uh, of the scriptures. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, that's why, of course, they got the, the, the image of the Messiah painted white. You know, at the end of the day, it was funny how they would talk about you got black supremacists and black nationalists, but they just most... Uh, like basically how they uh white supremacy, you know, they literally changed the images and defaced images. I mean, I got a book on that showing you how they literally changed a lot of, of the ancient images because you know it was a lot of images of Jake, like with with with, with um with um it's like it, with King uh, King James, you know, like motherfuckers. I've heard people sit up there and say he gay, he gay, he gay. You know what I mean? Based on what? Then if you, based on you heard or you went into the script of basically going by what his, I, I've had so many people tell me that stupid ass shit. And then if you actually do enough research while you got all this information at the tip of your hands, you'll find out that was basically a rumor started by a man that he kicked out of the court and took all his possessions. You get what I'm saying? 
I mean, Alina Stewart, you know King James was fucking black just because his son, Charles, was named Black Boy. It's lucky. Because people are stupid, though. Like, you motherfucker think they know so motherfucking much, but don't research nothing. I feel. I heard. You know what I mean? I remember a nigga told me that. He said I told him so much shit that was wrong. I say, I told you. Name one thing I told you wrong. He couldn't name shit. Then he literally sat up there basically... Because you went to talk to somebody, y'all didn't look up nothing. You know what I mean? That's one thing about what we in. You know what I mean? That's one thing I pride myself about being in GMS. Because the apostles ain't just making you be a parent. They tell you to go look this shit up. But no, a nigga don't want to look up shit though. A nigga want to just, you know what I mean? More of a nigga be all in his feelings. You know, when you go into the scriptures and talk about your heart, it means your mind. That's why I tell you in the book of Isaiah 33 and 6, um, lean not on your own understanding. That's why you got commandments. Because man will destroy itself. I was listening to the brother. I don't know what, what camp he from, but he he deep. Brother was sitting up there saying, that's why we under the curses now. You should be grateful just to have what you have. You got to think about it. You in captivity. So much so, not just you as an Israelite, but also these other nations and even Esau. Esau so cold. The, you know, the leader Esau has put his own people in slavery, you know what I mean? If you go in it, man, I ain't, I'm tired of like what teaching people shit, though. And then they still get called stupid or, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, hey, okay, we, we'll see in that day who the fuck's stupid or who got it wrong or how much money. You know what I mean? Because that shit coming, you know what I mean? I been knew that Trump was going to keep, it was never impeached. Trump going to be here, he going to be the fucking president that set that shit off. Bible prophecy coming to pass right now. Why do you think the EU is breaking all up and shit? It tell you in scripture that the, the, the other nations' is allies is going to shoot missiles on this fucking place. I got a scripture. This is the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, meaning when catching you unawares. Just like the day um, when Noah and the flood came. You had people marrying and getting married and all that shit. I mean, when you get the concept of the fact that nothing is really new, everything reincarnates, you still got these niggas that, when you go into the book of Maccabees, how you had Israelites that basically sold out and made deals with the heathens, and then you look at these niggas today, and you got motherfuckers feeling sorry for Kobe. Kobe didn't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Kobe. Uh, but I mean, you know, it said, but the day of the Lord will become as a thief in the night in the in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Now, what do you think is going to do that? Them ICBMs. Bear with me for a second. I'm going to start this over. 